everyone! Guess what time it is? Yep, it's cherry yoga time. So today we are going to read a book, just like we've done some other times, that has a lot of animals in it. So that means a lot of chances to do different yoga poses. Some of them we've done and some of them will be new. All right, so Remember, we need to make sure your ears can hear me and listen to the story. So we're going to start in our easy seated pose. Remember, that's crisscross, or in yoga, we say sukhasana. Okay, so sit down. And then we're going to place our hands on our laps and our knees with our palms facing down. And we'll close our eyes and I'll play the singing bowl. And when the sound ends, remember you're going to make a bowl in your lap with your hands facing up like this. Move back so maybe you can see me better. There. Okay. So hands down, eyes closed. And when the bowl stops singing, hands in your lap. Okay. So everybody put your hands on your knees. Close your eyes, and in a second, you'll start to hear the bowl. All right, so we've turned our yoga ears on and then today before because I'm also going to show you pictures let's make sure let's do some yoga for our eyes so I'm going to come up close and take off my glasses so you can see my eyes all right so the way we're going to do yoga here is you're going to close your eyes and on the count of three you're going to open them up really wide ready one two three and then do that again close your eyes Open them up really wide on the count of three. One, two, three. All right, now this time keep your eyes open and without turning your head, right? You can even keep your head still with your hands. Move your eyes to one side and then the other side. And do that again, both eyes to one side. See my head's not turning. And then the other side. And then see if you can lift your eyes up and look up at the ceiling without turning your head up to the ceiling and then look down at the floor and then again look up at the ceiling so really using the muscles in your eyes right so now you can see what we're going to read all right so today i bet a lot of you know this story and i chose this story because the weather has been so nice right and even though we can't go to cherry hopefully you're getting outside and maybe some of you are riding your bicycles Right. It's a great time to go outside and ride your bicycles because there's no snow. All right. So today's book is Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. All right. So we woke up our ears. We woke up our eyes. Right. So now before we get started, we want to make sure our body is warm. And like I said, the sun is out. And we did this last week where we pull the sun, the warm sun into our body. So you can stand up. I'm going to stand on my knees. You can do that too. Remember? Okay, standing up tall, you're going to reach one arm up and grab the sun and then invite this warm up, warmth of the sun into your body by pulling it down and going, ha, and then the other hand, ha, ha, keep going, ha, ha, go really fast, ha, 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 two more times, ha, ha, whoo, see, your body already starts to feel a little warmer. So now we can start to do our poses. All right. So again, Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. So I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see. And if you have this book, maybe some of you have it at home, you could go grab it and we could read it together. Otherwise, don't worry about it because I have it. One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. All right, so I think I 
we did bike pose one day when we were talking about our banana, okay, our banana story. So just as a reminder, you're gonna lie down on your back and you're gonna lift your legs up and make some bicycle legs, right? And then remember, sometimes, especially when you're first learning how to ride, the bicycle goes kind of slow. And then maybe it gets a little bit faster. And then you might be able to ride really, 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 really fast. Okay? So that is the bike pose. Okay? And every time today when you hear me say bike, you're going to get down and do the bicycle pose. Okay? You're going to see if you can beat me to it. And then for duck pose, you're going to come and squat down like a little duck. All right? and make your wings, tuck your hand, your thumbs underneath, and then see if you can waddle around, All right? Ooh, it's kind of hard. Quack, 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 quack. All right, that's duck pose. All right, and, you know, ducks don't really ride bicycles, so he was being pretty brave to try something like that. So let's do our brave pose, all right? And we'll kind of make it a duck brave pose, right? Our warrior pose. So remember, you're gonna take one leg in front, one leg back, stick your arms up. Remember, this is your strong warrior pose. But like I said, let's make it a duck warrior. So instead of our arms up today, right, we'll take our arms down and go quack, 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 quack. All right, and then on the count of three, we're gonna switch our legs. One, two, three. <sighs> That's hard. So we're being warrior ducks, right? Trying to ride a bicycle. Because when you first learn how to ride a bicycle, it can be pretty scary. Okay. Duck rode past a cow and waved to her. Hello, cow, said duck. Moo, said the cow. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Oh, I think I said the word bike. Did you go do it? All right, so let's do, after you do your bike pose, let's do cow pose. You guys know this, we've done this one. All right, hands and knees, right? And cows have big bellies that hang down. So let your belly hang down and look forward. And what does a cow say? Ooh. Let's do that again. Moo. And sometimes cows look over one way, moo, and then look over the other way, moo. All right. So that's what the cow was thinking when it saw the duck. All right. Duck rode past sheep. Ba, hello, sheep, said duck. Ba said sheep. What, but what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. All right? That's why he was being brave, so he doesn't hurt himself. All right, sheep pose. I don't think we've done sheep pose. So we're going to come on our hands and knees like we did for cow. All right? But this time, we're going to make our backs a little round, right? Furry, 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 round back here. Keep your arms in front. Let your head down and go ba. That's what sheeps do. And you can shimmy your body around ba. Okay, that is sheep pose. Uh oh. It's like a squish. All right. Duck was riding better now, right? He's getting used to it. He rode past dog. Hello, dog, said duck. Woof, said Dog, but what he thought was, this, that's a mighty neat trick. All right, you guys all know dog pose. All right, come on, to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift up your tail, right? Remember the dog said, woof, you're going to wag your tail, woof, woof, woof. All right, dog pose. I think that's one we've done almost every time we've done yoga together. Then, 
Duck rowed past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Oh, did you go into bike pose? I said it. All right, Cat. Cat's another one we do a lot, right? So we're going to come on our hands and knees again. And instead of letting our belly drop like in cow, we're going to round our back, right? Like a scared cat and say, meow. And do that again. Look forward and then round your back. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past horse. Hello, horse, said duck. Nay, said horse. But what she thought was, you're still not as fast as me, duck. Right, horses can go pretty fast. All right, do you remember horse pose? You're going to stand up. Bring your legs out like you're sitting on a horse. Have you ever ridden a horse before, right? You have to put your legs around the horse and then hold the reins, right? And then pretend like you're riding the horse and the horse is, likes to, when it runs fast, right? It moves its feet fast, you know? Mm -hmm. Nay, 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 nay. That's your horse pose. Riding a horse can be pretty scary, just like riding a bicycle. Duck ran past his bike as he rode towards Chicken. Oh, no, Duck rang his bell. Excuse me. Duck rang his bell as he rode toward Chicken. Hello, Chicken! Click, click, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck! All right, Chicken Bows. I'm going to stand up. I don't know if we've done Chicken Bows. Stand up. You're going to walk on your tippy toes and stick your wings back and then walk like a chicken. Cluck, 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 cluck. All right, that's chicken pose. Duck rode. Then duck rode past goat. Hello, goat said duck. Meh, said goat. But what she, but what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. All right, goats like to eat things. Oh, I think I said bike again. Did you do it? See if you can beat me. All right, goat pose. So for goat pose, goats love to kick their legs and hop up on things. Okay, so we're going to tuck our toes, come into your down dog, be careful, make sure there's nothing around you, right? And all right, we're going to, instead of ba like a sheep, they say ma. Sounds kind of the same. You're going to bend your knees and see if you can kick your feet up. Kick, right? Kick. See if you can do it again. Be careful. It's kind of hard. And kick, right? And if that feels too hard, you can just kick up one foot and then the other, right? There's always an easier way to do it. All right, yoga doesn't, isn't meant to be hard. It's meant to be fun. All right. I don't know if a goat could eat a bicycle. It's pretty hard to eat. Duck stood on the seat and rode past pig and pig. Hello, pigs, said duck. Oink, said pig and pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show off. Do you see where the pigs are? Right? They're in mud because that's what pigs like to do. It makes them, that's how they take a bath and it cools them off. Right? So we're going to lie down and pretend we're rolling in mud like pigs. So you're going to make sure you have some room side to side. You're going to lie down on your back. Right? And then roll over onto your belly, right? And be, and then roll over onto your back. And do that again. Roll over onto your belly. And then roll over 
onto your back. All right, I hope you could see me, I'm not sure. Anyway, that was pig pose. I should turn this. Okay, let's turn the screen down a little in case you couldn't see me. That was pig pose. Then, duck row, no hands past mouse. Hello, mouse! Squeak, said mouse, but what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike, just like duck. Oh, did you do your bike pose? All right. So, duck, I mean, mouse. All right, so we're going to come into mouses. Mice are really, mouses, mice are really small. So you're going to make yourself into a teeny tiny ball. Bring your hands back so you're a teeny tiny little ball. Right, and then they have a tail. So for today, from your tiny ball, see if you can... Stick one leg out right, for your tail. And then make a tiny mouse sound. Go squeak. 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 Oh, that is mouse pose. With our little tail sticking out. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on their bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Look at all those bikes. All right, that's a lot of bicycles, so we're going to pretend. Do you know how to be a kid? Yeah, we don't have to do a pose for kid pose, but we're going to do bicycle again. All right, so we're going to get on our bikes and ride really fast, really, really fast, just like them. Fast, fast, fast. So fast that we didn't even see the duck. All right. I wonder where they're going in such a hurry. And there's no words on this page, but do you see? What do you see? What is there? all the animals have in common? Yeah, they all have those really big eyes. Remember when you did that in the beginning? Right? That's what all the animals have. Look. What do you think they're looking at? Now, all the animals had bikes. Look at all the different kinds of bikes there are. There's tricycles, right? There's tandems where there's two seats. There's some with training wheels. There's some without. Now, all the animals had bikes, and they rode around and around in the barnyard. This is so fun. Fun, they all said. What a good idea, duck. Even the mouse got to ride. You see the teeny tiny little mouse he's riding with duck. Then they put the bikes back by the house. And no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow. We're going to do all the animals now, so get ready. There had been a cow. Mm. There had been a sheep. Mm. There had been a dog. Woof, 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 woof. There had been a cat. Meow. Right. There had been a horse. Nay. There had been a chicken. I'm not sure you can see me. A goat. Remember the goat? Meh. Meh. There had been two pigs. Oink, 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 oink. Rolling in the mud, right? There had been a mouse. Nice and small, but don't forget your tail. And a duck. I remember how to do your duck. That was the first one we did. Quack, quack, whoops, quack, 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 quack. On a, what am I going to say? What were they all on? A bike. Look at bicycle legs. And 
that is the end of our story today. Ooh. Sorry. Okay. Hey. Woo. That was a lot of poses. So remember how we end our yoga time together? All right. We take a little break before we say goodbye. All right. So just so we can think about everything that we just did and also think about how we feel, right? Sometimes our bodies feel different and our feelings feel different when we do yoga. And today, to help me in shavasana, your last pose, I have a duck. All right, so I'm going to take my animal. Maybe you have a duck. Maybe you have a cat. Maybe you have a cow. Maybe you have one of those animals that you could use today. And if you don't, that's okay. All right, you can just use a pillow. All right, here we go. Let's see good. Oops, sorry, my computer did something funny. Anyway. I've got my duck. I'm going to lie down on my back. All right. Put my legs out, put my arms out, and put my breathing buddy on my belly. Right. And close my eyes. And remember your balloon breaths, right? Take a big balloon in your belly to help your breathing buddy go up. And you breathe in your nose to make that balloon. And then let the air come out and feel your body go down. And just focus on that balloon and your breath. Big balloon breath in. Big balloon breath out. A couple more times. Nice and slow. Big balloon breath in. Big balloon breath out. Two more. Big balloon breath in. Big balloon breath out. Last one, big balloon breath in, big balloon breath out. Bring your knees into your chest, make yourself into a little ball. You can hold your buddy with your knees, roll up three times. Ready, one, roly poly, wake up your body, two, and three. Oh. All right, back to Sukhasana. Easy seated pose with your buddy on your lap right? and your hands to your heart. Right? And then before we sing our namaste song, I hope right, that you feel like you want to be like duck and go outside and get on your bicycle or try something new. Okay, we did all our yoga, so we should feel brave and strong. All right, so um, now we sing our goodbye song. My little light sees your little light. Your little light, your little light, my little light sees your little light. Namaste. Thanks for doing yoga with me today. We have two more times before we say goodbye for the summer. All right, so I hope you come back and I'll see you then. Bye. Namaste.